Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This tutorial is going to show you what's new in Photoshop CS6 and how to use it. So this tutorial is going to go over the adaptive wide angle filter. So on a photo like this, when it is shot with a wide angle and it's a little crooked, there's a lot of lines here that need to be straightened up, both because of the distortion from the wide angle lens and because the camera wasn't totally perpendicular and horizontal to the scene. So go up to filter and adaptive wide angle or there's a shortcut shift control A. And there's a pretty simple dialog box with a few simple tools. So the first tool I'll go over here is the constraint tool and that is simply just to draw a line and Photoshop will make that line in the image straight. So over on the right you can see there's a zoom in. I'll maybe start on this mirror so you can see uh, the good contrast. And so I just click on the spot where I want to start my line and then go down to the bottom of the mirror. And on the image, you can see that the line is bowed and Photoshop gets that information automatically from the make and model of your lens, which is displayed in the bottom left hand corner. So I just go to the bottom of that mirror and one little trick for this, since I want this to be totally vertical in my image, I hold down the shift key and now my line turns pink. And now when I click again, that line becomes totally vertical. So it not only takes out distortion, but it also straightens my photo. So that becomes straight. Uh, the other tool here is the polygon tool. And you'd use that if you want to define a uh, rectangle shape like this part on the back wall. So I'm going to click on my top corner here and then click again on the top right corner. And I don't want this to be straight horizontal in my photo. So I'm just going to click and it'll straighten up that line but it's not going to make it horizontal. And then this line, I want to be straight up and down. So I hold down the shift key, click the bottom, go to the left without the shift key, and then hold down the shift and click back and complete my rectangle. And that tightens up this rectangle to be straight on all the edges. And this is looking pretty good. I think I might draw another straight line on my mirror. And this window looks pretty good, but I'll do one just on the edge of the window for good measure. I'll hold down the shift key to keep that straight. And there's also a scale button here. You can see there's this missing image parts. That'd be pretty easy to fill with a content aware fill, but I'll zoom in a little bit and fill it up like that. And if you want to go in and edit one of your marks you have made, you can click on it and then do your edits. You can grab these turning knobs so that it straightens it to an angle. Or if you wished had they been vertical, you can just shift click on them and it'll straighten them up to be vertical like this. And that's it. A quick, nice new way to straighten up any wide angle shot and quite a bit quicker than the earlier a lens correction tool which would require lots of guessing and trial and error before you'd get your lines like this matching up with the verticals. Check out more CSX tutorials on tutorvid.com.